In winter, when I visited Nepal for the first time, it was important time for a passenger traveling to Nepal. I was suddenly awakened from my deep sleep. I stood at my boarding pass, then lined up for departure. The flight attendant took me to the seat and asked to lock my seat belt. I was taken high up in the sky. The sky was filled with the milky fluffy curtain as I was amazed by the beauty of thick cloud and finally landed. After a long duration, I could see an incredible landscape of Kathmandu city filled with buildings, trees and people. I was aroused with full of anxiety as it was first time traveling without my parents as a solo traveler. Moreover, I was anxious about unfamiliar language and Nepali text. I went out of the airport and looked around. At the blink of my eyes, I saw a man holding my name tag and greeted me. Then, I was towed towards my destination in a small community, Kritipur, situated at a distance of 5 km southwest away from the Kathmandu. It is a center of newer culture. But the surprising thing was, as I entered the apartment, I noticed the architectures which were similar to our Bhutanese architectures such as building structures, roofs of temples, and painting done on the windows. This architectures symbolizes the unification, unity, and prosper in the country. They warmly welcomed me saying, Jojo Paula Lascos, joining two hands by Nepali ladies. I was clueless about what they were saying. At first moment, I felt weird as I thought, why are they begging? Then later, I knew they were greeting me Namaste in newer language, which means hello, you're welcomed, and in Bhutanese dialect, it is Kuzo Zampo. The greeting symbolizes the friendly environment which was inherited from newer forefathers. The unique thing for me was the food that they served me that night. Humery, which was cone-shaped, made of steamed rice dumplings filled with mixture of jaggery, roasted with sesame seed and coconut. Humery is prepared mostly during the post-harvest celebration called Humery Panhi, which means on full moon day. I could still remember the taste of delicious Newari cuisine. Besides food and language, I also like the Newar dress, which is known as Hakupatase. These things reminded me of my culture before I thought about the culture until I visited the beautiful place in Kritipur. It was an incredible stay at Kritipur as I could relate the value of identity of my own country. It reminded me of my own Bhutanese identity, food, and culture. It clearly showed that there is no barrier of communication despite the different languages, cultures, and ethnicities we belong. What matters is the way we see the world.